Time to play with some clay. I'm going to put detail in the uh, feathers. These are hawk feathers, and I'm just going to, for the uh, person who colors the bronze, I'll know which part is supposed to be black and which part is supposed to be another color. And I'm just going to rough up the area that goes black. So even if they don't put color on the bronze and they just do a straight patina, traditional patina, it still comes out with a difference in color. I may just uh, do these feathers again, I'm not sure. Right now I'm leaning towards making them out of wax rather than clay. This ermine I got here, I'm going to make it a little shorter. I think the ermine's too much. Now I'm going to experiment with uh, the robe. I want it to look different than the uh, buffalo robe and the skins. I'm just going to experiment with it. I'm not so certain it's going to work. I want to give it a texture that looks more like trade trade blanket. First, I gotta make the blanket look like a blanket.
Boy, is he getting ready to storm out to that side. Cloudy and cold. may have to redo that hair. No big deal. You know what? I'm not going to worry about getting every inch of this textured. I'll have textured by the tool and by this, and that way it shows that it's sculptured, not I don't want it to be a photograph. This clay's been sitting on this uh, sculpture for about, oh, close to a year now. Well, several years, actually. Uh, and so it gets stiffer, and uh, the surface of it loses a lot of the oil, and it makes it hard to manipulate. And what I'm going to do tomorrow is bring my uh, hair dryer into the studio, my hair blower, hair dryer, whatever you call it, and that will soften up the clay because it'll add heat to the clay. See, that's just adding enough texture, not in every crevice or anything like that, but just enough to give it the look of material. And I'll soften that quite a bit before I take it to the foundry. 
but I like how it looks. And I don't think I'm going to have her hair hanging down over the robe. I think I'm just going to leave it like it's tucked in underneath the, uh, the robe. It frames her hair, I mean her face, nicely. All right, I'll pick this up tomorrow. If I want to get my video out, I got to go do it now. I'm thinking, I want to get in there. That'll have to be done with the clay soft. It's not soft enough yet. I like how it's looking. I took out that one wrinkle because it didn't make sense. And now it makes more sense. All right, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow or next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.